YouTube world glad to see that you made it out here nice and safe through this pandemic now last time I left off I was planting something called Titiona which is a Mexican sunflower seed now this Mexican sunflower seed I planted along my fence line and I did about 18 inches between each one putting one seed in and I made sure that I dug a little ditch and everything and it's been two weeks and I ain't seen nothing pop up now granted I'm in this central Florida area and here in central Florida we have sand and where I did plant it it's a lot of sand now they're saying hey these are drought hardy plants there's something that's gonna grow here in Florida just don't give it too much water give it a little bit of water but not too much water so that's what I did I put it right in the ground as a seed and I ain't got nothing that popped up so I'm deciding to do it a different way now I'm going to turn around and get me a seed tray and I'm going to put that seed tray and fill it up with some soil that I bought from one of the stores here and filled it up and then turn around and put one seed in each seed tray. Now I got probably about 18 seeds in each one in, in, in the seed tray. So now my next goal is to turn around and let them grow to be about two to three inches tall. Once they're two to three inches tall, then maybe I can plant it back out there and see if it actually takes root and keeps on growing this time. So that's the way I did it. Hopefully it works out. Now I turn around and I made me a little uh, little makeshift table out in my backyard. My backyard is facing the sunrise so I need to make sure that it's getting the morning sun so it's right behind my house instead of in the front of my house. Right now I'm sitting in front of the house and I'm getting the evening sun which is not really blaring on me because I got some of these oak trees across the street. So, the evening sun is really, really bad. So, I'm not going to turn around and, and use those, um, that, that particular sunlight because it's just going to burn up the plants. And I'm thinking maybe, maybe that's what the issue is. But, hey, they say they need direct sunlight for six hours, give or take. So, I'm making sure that I'm putting them in right behind the house where it's going to get the majority of the sun from the morning to afternoon hours. We'll see how it worked, how it takes. And I'm going to update you guys here shortly with that. In the meantime, stay safe during this pandemic. Hey guys, here's an update on my Mexican sunflower seeds. Uh, the last video that I was talking about had me talking about the tray that I purchased and how I spread out the seeds into it and stuff so in this tray right here I've got these holes right here now these are the little seed spots nice and simple one seed per hole I layered it with some of the dirt put some of the seeds on it then layered it with some more dirt and then I turn around and I flooded the, the bottom of the tray with a bottle of water and I let that soak up and I'll turn around and I got this lid right here that came with the tray it's going right on top and it's acting as a greenhouse so in the morning in the evening until this stuff germinates it's going to be out here I'm not gonna, I don't think I'm going to need to bring it indoors and outdoors. It's nice and warm throughout the uh, this time of the year. Don't have to worry about any type of frost or cold weather. So, we got that going. In the meantime, I'm also trying to do a little mini garden. And I turned around and I got me a little tray here. And I filled it up with water. And I put an egg tray. One of those big egg trays that I get from one of the bulk stores. And I turn around and put some seeds inside of there. Now in this one, I put some okra in this line right here. And I got sweet peppers in this line right here. And in this one here, I got okra. And I got some um, squash in this line right here. 
uh, hopefully I can have me a little mini garden have some food popping up soon the only thing is I don't see the sweet peppers yet so I'm wondering if I got a batch that was bad or if it's just going to take a little longer don't know if I'm in season or not but I went ahead and planted those down anyways my goal with this particular tray is that when they're ready to come out I'm just going to take and cut them so they have the individual little carton and I'm just going to put them right into the ground that's my goal hopefully that works too I just got to pick me a spot out here in the yard so this is just an update on my sunflower seeds, the Mexican sunflower seeds, the Tithioli. And just to let you guys know where I'm at with that. So in maybe about two more weeks, I'll start seeing these seed leads popping up, if I'm lucky, in seven days. Until then, I'll, you guys stay safe during this pandemic.